Wouldn't life be a lot easier if keyboards were in alphabetical order? We would know the exact order of all the alphabets and know which key comes after which. So, why is that not the case? Back then, all papers were written by hand and this of course, was a slow process. Not to mention, the ink also made a whole lot of mess. To solve this problem, the typewriter was invented. A typewriter is a big metal machine used for, well, typing. The original typewriters solved the problem of writing by hand, but there were still more problems to be solved. Back then, the keys of a typewriter were actually in alphabetical order. In typewriters, each key has a lever which goes down to type the letter. And that's where the problem lies. When two keys close together were tapped quickly, the typewriter would jam, and this caused a huge hassle. The only solution was to rearrange the keys. That's when the American inventor, Christopher Scholes, came into play. He tried various arrangements to reduce the need to type two keys that were close together until he came up with the best possible arrangement. Afterwards, manufacturing rights were sold to E. Remington & Sons, and the company's mechanics made the final adjustments to the keyboard layout. This layout would eventually become our modern QWERTY keyboard. And that is the QWERTY keyboard we all use today. If we talk about keyboards these days, the jamming problem is over with. However, the QWERTY keyboard was such a hit that it still exists to this day. And with that, we end today's video. If you are interested in more facts, feel free to subscribe to this channel.